Hello everyone, Leah from Toon Runes here, and today we're going to be talking about what's inside the chest in Lion's Mane. About two years ago now, I had a super old video explaining how I thought it was possible that Pink Diamond Shards were possibly hidden in the chest, or maybe even the weapon used to shatter her. Obviously, it can't be that, especially given, you know, the actual canonical lore of the series. So today, I figured I would revamp this theory and include something that is all the more possible. So what's in this chest, you may ask? Well, let's find out. Wait, what's today's sponsor doing in here? Welcome to Amino Stories, the new way to rapidly share multiple ideas and cover as much ground as possible. You may have heard of the Amino app before, but the Stories feature is brand new and is an excellent way for content creators to communicate and get diverse content out to their fans. Each story is unique and briefly covers a topic, creating a discussion. I've been creating Stories for Amino for a few months now, and there's over 20 videos that I've made exclusively for the app. I've covered topics like my top 5 pets in Steven Universe to my top 5 stressful moments of the show. Because these videos are so short, I'm able to cover a lot more topics than I normally can on my channel. If you wanted to know my thoughts on a very specific subject that I may not cover, this is the place to get those answers. Once you've downloaded Amino, go up to the search bar and type in Toon Runes. My profile will be the first to pop up. Once you click on it, you'll be brought to my profile, which will have every single story I've ever created on it. There's a lot of exclusive content in there to look at, so be sure to search for me and follow me to get even more content outside of YouTube. Now back to the subject of today's video. <clears throat> As I was saying, let's see what I think is in the chest in Lion's Mane. That's right, a VHS tape. I know that this probably isn't the exciting answer that you're all hoping for, but it is one that I think is the most likely. While somewhat underwhelming, it does fit the theme and actions of what Rose has done in the past episodes. The only way so far that Rose has had the chance to communicate with Steven directly is through VHS tapes. We are first introduced to her back in Lion 3, straight to video, where she tells Steven that she loves him, even though she cannot be around to tell him that. The next instance we see her is in the episode We Need to Talk, in which Greg filmed Rose and Pearl fusing into Rainbow Quartz. Then we see Rose again in VHS form back in the episode Lion 4, Alternate Ending. While Lion 4, Alternate Ending is simply a variation of the video that we saw back in Lion 3, all of the direct interactions between Steven and Rose have happened this way. While there was physical interactions happening in Storm in the Room, it can't be counted since Steven even admitted that the Rose in that instance was only a manifestation of what he hoped she was. Because this is really the only way that Rose could pass a message along to Steven, I think it's only safe to assume that there's probably more than just the VHS tapes we've seen in show thus far. If we think about it, there's a lot that Rose would probably want to disclose to Steven. We have the fact that she plays to seal on Pearl to prevent her from telling the truth about her identity. We also have all of the past about the war, the corrupted gems, bismuth, everything. There's so much that Rose would be leaving all down to just the gems to educate him on. And of course, there's certain things that they couldn't tell him even if they wanted to. Rose's past was such a mess that I believe she'd need to make multiple tapes just to explain everything to Steven, as well as give an explanation for her behavior. Rose knew that the diamonds weren't going to stay away forever. Yet when she made the decision to have Steven, she made the decision to go away forever. She must have known that he would have ran into some problems in the pursuit of trying to find out who she was. So leaving behind an explanation in the only way that she could seems like the most logical answer. However, she probably wanted this information to be given to him at the correct time, when he's old enough and understands enough to be able to fully process the information that he's been given. Whether this be inside Pink Diamond's like ship or somewhere on Homeworld, the key is likely hidden in a place that Steven would only know how to get to after a certain amount of time. I don't doubt that Rose had faith in Steven to find out most of this information by himself, but it is possible that there is some information that would be impossible to know without her help. One of those things that I think would be addressed in a potential video would be the explanation to her actions, because she's the only one that could give him that explanation. While Steven has had to infer why she did what she did, there's still some things that need clarification. There's still a lot that he can't understand and would only be understood better through Rose verbally telling him. I also think that in said videos, she'd be sure to assure him that she loves him, especially considering that she would never get to say those words outside of that video. Rose knew that Steven would be in a confused state if the diamonds ever did manage to come back. It would bring back a lot of old family drama and, of course, 
danger. To mediate it, she would have those tapes there in the event that the diamonds were to return. If the diamonds never became a threat again during Stephen's lifetime, then she would never need to see those tapes or obtain that information. It's just really interesting to think about how much Stephen would never know had he never freed Lapis. If he never freed her, then I would imagine that the cluster would have eventually emerged, likely suddenly and catastrophically. It's crazy to think that they only managed to survive and stop the cluster because Stephen was kind-hearted and empathetic enough to save an imprisoned gem. They theoretically could have gone on until the cluster destroyed the Earth, spending their time unaware and hunting off the last of the corrupted gems. No uncovering the past. And if it was different, there would be no need for what was inside of Rose's chest if it is indeed unwatched VHS tapes. Another possibility of what's in the chest are tapes with the names of each crystal gems on them, similar to how Stephen had his name written on one. They could serve as a goodbye and apology to each of the crystal gems, ending with her telling them why she felt the need to leave them behind. I could see this being in the final episode of the show, playing the tapes in the background while the B-roll shows how much these characters have grown and how well they've moved on in her wake. While I'm sure everyone is hoping for this big extravagant secret to be hidden within the chest, I really do think it's just a bunch of VHS tapes. Like Steven, we may be looking too far into this unresolved secret. Rose did like to keep her secrets, but so far her communication with Steven hasn't really been all that cryptic. The things she had left to him and passed down to him have all been relatively straightforward to understand, and I don't think that the contents of this chest will be that much different. And like with Bismuth and Rose's sword, the ability to unlock the chest will come when the time is right. But of course, this is just a theory and is in no way confirmed to be canon. What do you think the contents of Rose's chest are? Let me know in the comments down below or over on my Twitter what you think. Today's video is powered by Patreon. My top tier patrons are Zachary Ainsley, Sodden Greider, and Sirlis Jefferson. It's because of people like them that I can continue to make videos and I cannot thank them enough for their support. And if you like this video, please make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to see more from me. And I will see you all in the next video. Have an amazing day, everyone.